Hello, my name is Dr. Terry Smith. I'm a principal scientist here at Dynamic Research in Torrance, California. Today, I'm going to talk to you about equestrian safety. In particular, I'm going to talk about helmets. And I'm going to talk about the ASTM standard, or the American Society for Testing and Materials Equestrian Helmet Standard. We're going to talk about the different tests that are involved in the standard, and I'm going to give you a demonstration today of how we conduct those tests here in this laboratory. The first element of the ASTM standard is the amount of coverage provided by the helmet. This device allows us to mark a coverage line on a helmet. And coverage, when I say coverage, I mean how much protection is provided by the helmet. This red line here indicates the minimum level that must be provided for in the ASTM standard. In terms of protection, I'm allowed to do impact testing anywhere on or above this test line. And we'll see a little later some impact tests that we've conducted inside this test line area. The second test that we look at for the ASTM standard is what is called the helmet stability test. This is an evaluation of the helmet's ability to remain on your head. And in particular, it's got to remain on your head throughout the entire impact sequence. And it's the retention system that's going to hold it onto your head. And what we want to try and do in this test is to simulate a dynamic pull on the front or the back of your helmet to try and get it off your head. And now Alex is going to demonstrate how we do this test. And you can see that the helmet remains on the head, and this particular model passes the ASTM helmet stability requirements. So let's do the exact same test now, only this time we're going to use the Caliente helmet. The Caliente helmet has a different retention system geometry, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at how well it stays on your head when there's a dynamic force trying to pull it off your head. Because remember what I said earlier in that a helmet has to remain on your head throughout the entire crash sequence or else it isn't going to do you any good. So let's take a look at the test now. So just like the last test, Alex applies the force to the back of the helmet and then he raises the weight and releases it. And you can see that the helmet has almost come off the head form. And this is what would happen to your head in an accident. The helmet would almost come off. This helmet has failed the ASTM stability test. This is the ASTM dynamic retention test. It's designed to evaluate how well the retention system will hold under a vertical force being applied to it. What we do is we have a system here which simulates your chin and jaw and we have a mass which falls and applies that vertical force to the head form and the retention system. The system must remain intact and it's not allowed to extend more than 30 millimeters or a little more than an inch. Let's take a look now and watch an ASTM dynamic retention test. The test involves dropping a 4 kilogram mass from a height of 60 centimeters and measuring how far the retention system extends. Here's the test results from our ASTM dynamic retention test. This is measuring the elongation of the chin strap and you can see that once the weight is applied the chin strap extends and stretches to a distance of 27.7 millimeters, which is less than the 30 millimeters required by ASTM. Upon impact, you can see the retention system bounces back up and then settles out to a standard extension length. So now let's do the exact same dynamic retention test with the Caliente helmet. And let's pay close attention to things like the rivets here and the buckles 
because that's what's holding that helmet together. And we're going to look at what happens when we apply that dynamic force down on the helmet to see how well it would stay on your head. So let's take a look and see what happened in this test. We can see that the strap broke right here near one of the stitching attachments. And the helmet failed the dynamic stability test. And what does that mean for you? Well, if you're wearing a Caliente helmet and a force gets applied to this chin strap, there's a good chance that it's going to break. And if it breaks, there's a good chance that it can come off your head and expose your head to some really dangerous things out there on the track. Let's look at the test data. We can see that when the drop mass is released and a force is applied to the Caliente retention system, it extends well beyond the 30 millimeter requirement. In fact, the retention system extends all the way out to 51 millimeters or over two inches, which is well in excess of the allowable elongation for the ASTM standard. If we look at the helmets that we've just tested, you can see this is the ASTM helmet and its retention system is still remaining intact and it can work and continue to work and make sure that the helmet stays on your head. In contrast, if we look at the Caliente helmet, what has happened is we've broken the buckle. You can see it's fractured and pulled apart. But the other problem is that it also released from the quick release latch that we have here. And then what happened was it was looped originally over this hook, but due to the dynamic strength of the test, it bounced back up, tore apart, and came off. So that means the helmet's not going to be attached to your head if it were to come down in the event of a crash. 